okay, that's not always a good thing. <laughs> but what I, um, I wanted to talk about attitude in our word expression and behavior, you know, and how we show that we're grateful for all the things that God has given us, the good and the bad, the indifferent, the ugly, and the pretty. It doesn't matter. Okay, everything that happens in our lives happens because it needs to happen. The good things are blessings, sometimes unexpected blessings. Sometimes we um, are blessed with God's grace, which by the way, none of us, none of us have done anything to earn, to earn that. The only thing we've done is accept Jesus Christ as, his, as our personal savior. But not because we deserve that, okay? It's because he loved us. And just for that, just because he loved us, just because he loved us enough to even look at us, you know, and take our heart and cleanse it and give us the privilege, privilege and opportunity to know him, call him our, our father. You know, he's given us that privilege. Yes, yes. And just for that, just for that, forget the food, forget the clothes, forget the shelter, forget jobs, money, all that other stuff that comes with believing in God. Just because of that, we ought to be grateful. Okay? Gratefulness and gratitude are things that are cultivated. Okay? We can stand here all day long and say thank you and do nothing with our blessings when we walk out that door. Is that an attitude of gratitude? Mm -hmm. You know, an attitude of gratitude shows, is an outward expression of what it is that God has given us, blessed us with. For example, he's blessed us with being saved by the blood of his son. Mm -hmm. We have a responsibility to show gratitude just for that just for that by showing the Jesus in in us in our heart with sharing with other people you know and not just sharing you know coming and saying you know Jesus says blah 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 you know and all that stuff you have to have that in your behavior it has to be it has to be cultivated in you okay we can sit here all day long praise God say thank you walk out the door and I've seen it happen. Curse somebody out because they cut us in front of the car. Okay, is that an attitude of gratitude? Is that an attitude? That's right. That's an attitude. Okay, so, you know, I want us to be a little bit more conscious of, of that gratitude in our lives on a daily basis. We don't deserve anything, really. You okay? We don't that's deserve right. anything. We that's were put here to praise mm -hmm. Him. That's right. We were put that's here right. for Him. Okay, and we were saved, not for us, no. but for His kingdom, for everybody else, so that other people can come to Christ. Remember that verse that says, every knee shall, shall bow, every voice will confess. Okay, that will happen when we establish in our lives an attitude of gratitude about what it is that God has done for us. Um, few, well maybe about 10, I like to say few because I like to think I'm still young, but, <laughs> <laughs> but maybe about 15 years ago, um, my daughter, my oldest daughter, got into some trouble. And um, I remember the day like it was yesterday, where I got on my knees, and I told I, I, I told the Lord, and at that time I told Him because I wasn't still, I, I still wasn't saved. I just wanted to have a conversation with somebody that was here, and the only one that was listening was Him. So, I at that time I told the Lord, if you bring my daughter through, if you save my daughter, I will serve you forever. I will serve you forever. My life will be yours. And I'm telling you, he's made me keep that promise. A <laughs> time was where I didn't want anything to do with church. I wanted to walk away. It was the time that he was bringing me back 
much stronger.